there's a war being waged in the forests of the United States, a defensive war against an invasive force of plants consuming the North American landscape at an alarming rate. Thousands of non-native plants are moving into every crack in the natural environment. You may recognize one in passing. It looks uh, viney, leafy, ivy-ish. You know it because of a vine, and wherever you see it, there's a lot of it. You usually see it on the highway, vacant lots. We have kudzu in our backyard. I wouldn't be surprised if we were standing in a patch of it now, because it seems to be everywhere. Kudzu was first introduced here from Asia almost 100 years ago. The notion that it would be good erosion control was wrong. As a non-native plant, it has no competitors, leaving it free to invade and thrive. And it's not alone. With nearly 20,000 native species in the United States, another four to 5,000 non-native plants have found their way in. This is an impen impenetrable barrier. There's neither man nor beast can go through this mess. We're in the privet stand now. We're inside of one. This is all privet. Everything here is privet. It's all Chinese privet. If you look at the understory, there is nothing here but dirt and dead leaves. This is simply a monoculture of privet. Government authorities claim we're losing millions of acres each year to these invasive plants. It's hard to put a dollar value on it. It's how much it costs the forest landowner to regenerate a forest to get rid of that invasive before the trees can come up and thrive, all the way to what's it worth if, if the wildlife habitat is displaced and you don't have that. But it would certainly be in the hundreds of millions, maybe even a billion. John Taylor of the U.S. Forest Service uses everything he's got to push back these marauders. All is fair in love and war, and this is war. Hitting the privet with a double whammy, chopping it down, then following with a dose of herbicide. Educator and conservationist Jeremy Dahl does similar work, but he chooses a different weapon. In America, you have the Cape Crusader, and you have Spider-Man, and you have Batman. I thought, well, why not? Machete Man. Machete Man, being non-native to the United States himself, specializes in removing an invasive ivy that's slowly throttling urban trees. This is a huge, huge, huge problem, that there are uh, hundreds, thousands, possibly m millions of acres which are being damaged by English ivy. Make it very difficult for the tree to be able to breathe properly uh, and to have a normal interaction with the outside world. It's just incredibly solid. And you can see it's just, it's like Goldfinger for trees. We have the potential here for the, for the death of this tree, possibly the death of all of these trees. The war rages almost daily against this relentless foe, but there are victories. But the thing to notice is that there's a green layer of herbaceous vegetation throughout the area where the privet was, and that's all new. When people get to realize that, you know, it really is bad for the tree to have this ivy growing up it, they're gonna wanna do something about it. I would expect in the next year or so to begin to see some little seedlings coming up from the, the seeds that these mature trees have, have dropped. You know, there's, Several species of oaks, there's ash, there's sycamore, hickories. There's just a, a great diversity of species in these bottoms, which is what you normally get. I don't know whether you can feel this, but, but what I'm picking up from this tree is, thanks, I can breathe again. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.